I'm going to go out on a limb today. Today I want to talk about one of our readings for this Sunday, one of our lectionary readings. It's from Romans chapter 8. We'll read verses 1 through 11 in the service on Sunday. But as I was preparing for preaching this Sunday, some things in these verses stuck out to me. Romans chapter 8 begins with Paul writing, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. I wanted to talk about freedom today because it's been on our minds a lot lately. I don't know if it's coming off of the July 4th holiday, a holiday during which we celebrate our freedom, or the things going on in the world with COVID-19 and the confusion around what we're free to do and not to do. For instance, some people think freedom means that we don't have to wear a mask and that we can go wherever we want, whenever we want, while others think that's not the case at all. And I don't mean to mix religion and politics, but I do want to say that as Christians, we say Christ is Lord of all. And in Christianity, freedom is very much tied up to what it means to be living in the spirit of Christ. In fact, in this Romans passage, Paul mentions the spirit 11 times. It seems as though our freedom cannot be separated from what we believe in Christ. And in Christ, we are called to, to live in this social contract with one another and with the earth and with God, right? Jesus is always about being for those who are disadvantaged. Jesus is always going to speak on behalf of the less privileged. Jesus is always going to speak up for the freedom of those that we haven't even considered didn't have freedom. Another reason I wanted to talk about this is because in our culture right now, everything that's going on, there is confusion about who has been free and when they have been free in the, in the past and then also what that will look like for the future. We are living in a time that, much like the time when Paul wrote this letter, people are trying to, to figure out a, a world that is changing quickly, right? Not everything seems to be working out the way that we thought that it would. In March, I never would have imagined that it would be mid-July and we'd still be meeting online. We're figuring out new ways to do things, new ways to share God's word, new ways to celebrate our freedom in the spirit of Christ. And that, well, that gives me hope. Because in Christ, we are able to do so much more than what we're able to do on our own. So during this month, where freedom is very much on our minds, may we remind ourselves to be in Christ, to know what that is, to know where the foundation of our freedom lies. And in that way, we can better serve one another. Please know that I love you and I miss you.